Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for um, mid-March 2023. We're just going to see what is going on for you at this time. This is going to be a free flow reading. You have this card that says loss on it. It says a major phase in your life is ending. Embrace the newness. It says let go of uh, what was so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I feel like a lot of your past readings have been talking about some sort of loss. It does not have to be a person, of course. It could just be, um, you know, a job, a situation, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. So, you know, I do feel like you've experienced some sort of loss. For others, it's like, you know, I kind of get this energy of feeling like things are going to improve, um, and but maybe they're not. And I don't mean this to scare you. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's like, how much more proof do you need that maybe you should like look for another job, for example? You know, if you're if you are experiencing and this isn't you know, if you're not experiencing issues, this is not for you. So, you know, don't like manifest something that doesn't need to happen. Although this is a very good reading, by the way. Um, I mean, look at this <laughs> major success. Good stuff. But, um, you know, again, it's like, you know, I kind of feel this is one of those readings that's saying the writing's on the, the wall, right? It's like, you know that you need to make a change. You know that something needs to change. And uh, I feel this is kind of like saying, do it, right? Don't just, um, don't sit around and wait for something, for something really bad to happen, which is normally what people do, right? But I feel, I kind of feel this is for those of you that can see the evidence, right? that maybe your boss just got busted with like, you know, 25 pounds of cocaine in his uh, backseat or something like that. And maybe the new boss is also a tyrant. It's like, how like how much more do you need to see before you make a change? And I definitely feel that here. Same thing in love, right? It's like, how many more chances are you gonna give a person for, you know, I feel that for some of you, not all of you. And I feel like this is saying like, don't sell yourself short. You are due for some amazing stuff. Like, I feel like the universe is like saying, hey, this is for you. <laughs> Sun, star, chariot, are you kidding me? And you have the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles in this reading to the world. Like, this is amazing, right? Very good stuff. Your solution is this right here. Six of swords represents making a sacrifice because the woman and the child in that boat, they're bringing nothing with them across those choppy waters except the clothing on their back. They're leaving everything behind and they're just trusting that what's on the other side is something better. And I really feel that's what this reading is saying. It's like saying, be strong. <laughs> <laughs> have strength, right? Because you are going in the right direction. I do feel if you've dealt with a, fa a past person, I do feel you could be feeling this person. Like maybe you need to do some return to sender or maybe you need to just say to yourself, like I always say, like if I'm getting weird feelings, I always just say it out loud, like are, are these mine, right? <laughs> you know, especially if I'm like having a good day and all of a sudden I feel depressed or whatever. And just calling it out, I think is one of the best things that you can do because it might not be your feelings. You might be, um, feeling a person, you might just be feeling the world just in general and the things that are going on. And I think it's a great way to take control of your emotion so that you don't like, you know, spiral down into something negative, right? Uh, you also have the four swords here. Um, I would be careful of a past person here, uh, Capricorn, like, you know, especially if you have a past person who you've been feeling <laughs> in your energy or whatever, I feel like you've like finally healed and I would be careful of allowing someone to kind of like mess that up, right? I also kind of get this energy that's saying, you know, if you are have been thinking about like walking away from a job, a business, or if there are clues that you need to make some changes, it, it, it's like you're finally ready to make those changes here. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. I really feel, as I always say, Ten of Pentacles to me is something that we spend a lifetime building. It's building, leaving a legacy. It's not just something that happens overnight, right? But it is an amazing money card. I do see amazing money coming in for you. Obviously, you're gonna have to work for it. And obviously, you're gonna have to make a change to, if you haven't already, to get this money. It's like, it, it blows my mind. People leave me comments all the time. They're like, you said I was gonna make money and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, what'd you do about it? And they're like, I don't know. I've been at the same job for 20 years. I'm like, exactly. It's like, you're not gonna, it's just not magically gonna happen. You have to make some sort of change to make this happen. So, you know, get a new job, go look for something different, ask for a raise, ask for a promotion. Again, we have to be more aggressive. I've been saying this since like 2016, that nothing is just gonna happen. And, and there are plenty of people that always back me up when I say this. I've been saying this forever that, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And, you know, I feel like you need to, if you want a change, you have to create the change. Uh, with the strength card, you have the 10 of wands. You have the 10 of wands twice. Uh, I kind of feel this is saying like, don't give up yet because, you know, I do feel like you've been experiencing burdens, um, you know, and in, in probably in multiple areas of your life. This could be love, this could be business. 
could be everything. And you're, you know, I, I, I just want to encourage you to like not get down on yourself here, Capricorn. Like I want to encourage you to realize that there is some good stuff coming in for you. With the Four of Swords, you have the Wheel of Fortune. There is going to be a turnaround. Things are going to turn around for you. Things are going to get better for sure. And with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the sun. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you have the sun twice, the star. I really feel that like the best thing Capricorn could do is to focus on themselves right now and, you know, just kind of make yourself the best version of yourself, whatever that means for you, right? Um, when we do that, I truly believe that, you know, when we're not looking for love, we just focus on making ourselves the best version of ourselves. We attract someone else who is the best version of themselves or we attract a business or an idea or something that it, that creates more of the best version, right? So that's, that's like what I would be focusing on here. Uh, you have this... Uh, in your next row, you have this yes card and you also have this mermaid. It says, be careful what you wish for. So uh, I don't think you need to be careful what you wish for. I actually feel it like saying like, make a wish because <laughs> you have that. You have this yes card. The reason I pulled the second card here is just because you had this uh, yes card here. But, um, you know, I kind of feel like you've learned. Um, I really feel it's more about clarity as well. Like, I feel like you've learned what's real and what's fake. Like the mermaid, she's half fish, half woman. And, you know, maybe in, I kind of get this feeling of like in past relationships, maybe you, it was kind of like somewhat good, but also somewhat fishy <laughs> with a person. And I feel like you're learning like what to look out for with a person. You have the 10 of wands, 10 of cups and the page of wands here. I do feel like you're working hard. I do feel like you're wanting a journey to come to an end or you're wanting some sort of achievement because you have the world right next to the Ten of Wands. His achievement is reaching his home right here. His home kind of represents the place where he will be able to release his burdens. And, you know, that I always like to tell people that what he is carrying is a harvest. He is carrying something that is going to make him more abundant or make him more successful. And I feel like you need to realize that, that you're not, like this is not something bad that you're carrying. You could be tired, but it's going somewhere. <laughs> it's leading to this right here. So don't give up now. You have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, of course, is fortune after difficulty. So I do feel like there could be good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. I do feel some of you could be worried about love as well. Like maybe you're saying to yourself, like, I've put in all this work and I want love, but I had to walk away from something from the past. And now I kind of feel that some of you could be in a place where you're like, oh, I'm not going to find a person, but I actually think you are. I just think that some of you have to make a change. Like you have to get out of the house. You have to go do things that you want to do. You have to go on adventures or, you know, whatever with the Page of Wands. I do feel the Page of Wands is encouraging a new, you know, exciting new adventure because we go this way to the star. The star is a good card, but it's really something that we uh, kind of like aim at. We, you could almost look at it as a goal. You know, some people, including me, say that the star is like your North Star, the thing that is guiding you um, in life. So, I, you know, like this card right here says embrace the newness. I feel like you need to embrace the new direction. There's nothing for you in the past is what this is saying to me. It's like everything is in front of you, right? Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Tower. Yeah, the tower has come up again quite a bit during these readings. So, <laughs> you know, I think we're going to see a lot of global tower moments. We had uh, two banks basically collapse already um, before when I said that there was going to be a global tower moment before. So, you know, here you go. So, you know, just more and more of this. It, it just, you know, more and more of this is going to happen. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, what did I say? Focus on yourself, right? Nine of Pentacles says... You know, she is perfectly independent, the lady on the Nine of Pentacles. That does not mean she is alone. It just means that she understands how to, like where to give her energy, what to do with her energy, where to put it, and all this other stuff. And she's very, you know, she always has six pentacles on one side, three on the other. She always, she only gives like three pentacles, which might not even be money. You know, it could just be your energy or your time or your affection, right? And she only gives three pentacles worth of um, whatever to any situation in her life. She's always making sure that she's kind of, that her cups are filled first, right? Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Magician. Definitely a new beginning here. Um, the Magician can represent a new beginning. And it also represents, of course, attraction or attracting things into your life. I really would just focus on yourself is what I would say in this reading. It's like some of you could be like feeling lonely or um, feeling depressed or like whatever. But I, again, I feel that 
you know, doing anything you can to make improvements on yourself is just going to, I feel like it's going to multiply your blessings by like a billion here. So I would definitely do it. And especially again, not to beat a dead horse, but we go up to the star card, which is, you know, really, that's a very good direction. Uh, next, you have this um, crown card. It says success and pride. And you also have this envelope. It says unfolding surprise. So love it. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be something you're accomplishing is going to make you not only feel successful, but you know it's going to give you pride. And I feel like this is something that's developing. So some of you literally could be like developing something new, like a new business or whatever. But I feel like there could just be some, uh, you know, like a surprise success coming in here. You have the world, the eight of cups and the six of swords. I feel like if you're saying, I don't feel very successful, this is probably why right here. I think you're just in this kind of like purgatory zone where maybe you're in this in-between time and you're kind of like hoping for changes, you're waiting to see things change. And I would keep pushing forward, like don't turn around with this eight of cups because I feel like you're heading towards your nine of cups and that's exactly what you should be doing, Capricorn, for sure. Uh, you show up here, the world is you, Capricorn, and I feel there's, you know, this is puts you in a position of power and strength, but I also feel that the world represents a change, of course, you know, the world is the last card in the major arcana. We go from the world to, and then we start all over again as the fool. So I would embrace the new, you know, the new opportunities. It's almost as if for some of you, I feel like you're like a hermit crab. You know, it's like you're, I feel like you're ready for a new shell <laughs> here, Capricorn. You're like ready to, like, I feel like you've outgrown some things in your life. And now it's just time for you to, you know, get into the, the next shell, right? And uh, I don't know, that's what I get. You have the six of swords here. Like I said, there's when the hermit crab leaves its shell, it's always very vulnerable, right? And until it gets into its new shell. And that would be like the in-between time on the six of swords. I feel like this is where you are at. I feel like this is where you have been at. And now you're just getting closer to the other side. So it's like you're about to undergo this uh, transition. Uh, with the world, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a big opportunity. I mean, this gives me the vibes of like, the whole entire reading is amazing. And again, this gives me the vibes of something coming in that really saves the day, you know, in some ways, or that really leads to some big improvements for you here, Capricorn. So whatever you're thinking about doing, I would do it <laughs> and I would nurture it into existence with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I also do feel that there could be communication coming in for you. Um, you have that envelope card, the Ace of Pentacles. There is a way to read the Ace of Pentacles that could represent communication. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles. Work hard, play hard. Again, make sure with the this with this and the Nine of Pentacles, I would make sure that you're balancing your energy, that you're not over giving to anything. Uh, that includes work. And so if you're working too hard, make sure you're playing hard. If you're playing too hard, make sure you're working hard. And I would just balance those, you know, balance those two things out. With the Six of Swords, you have the Ten of Cups. Again, damn, Taurus, or Capricorn, sorry. <laughs> I probably called you Taurus a second ago. This is amazing. Uh, I love getting the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Like, are you kidding me? Everything here is saying that everything you want is on the other side of the choppy waters. I kind of feel like you're, like I said, in purgatory. It's like you're in that, you know, in-between zone where you're a little bit feeling uncertain about your future. I feel like that's where you have been at and maybe that's where you are right now. But again, I feel like the outcome here is you have this Harlequin card and it says true feelings are masked. Um, this could be a person coming in for you, although I wouldn't really call this a love reading. Uh, what I feel like it's saying is that you're about to be very happy and maybe you just don't see it yet. There's a lot of happiness in this last row, a lot of success. You have the star, the sun, and the chariot. The star and the sun can represent fame and fortune. As I always say, it doesn't mean you're gonna become famous, but you know, whenever I get those two, these two together, the sun and the star, I always say, get attention. And again, we have Pluto and Aquarius. Pluto and Aquarius is all about getting positive attention. So. I always tell people with these two, like if you're trying to get a razor promotion, go ask your boss for a razor promotion. If you're hoping to, um, you know, if you're hoping to get attention on YouTube, go do things to get more attention, more positive attention. If you have a business, do more things to get attention to your business, whatever it is, I don't care, right? But I would just do it because you will be very successful. I also feel like you're about to in, like enter into like a very healing time. I, for some of you, I get like this feeling that you're about to do something that really kind of like launches you into outer space <laughs> in the best way possible. 
This could be like a business idea that you've had for a while. Uh, it could be an idea to change jobs or you know, pretty much anything, but whatever you've been thinking about for a while, I really feel this is encouraging you to do it because there's gonna be a lot of happiness, a lot of success in doing it with the sun. I also feel like something's gonna be much easier. I'm not, I, I want to be very careful because I think that anything we're doing right now, it's, it re, it's gonna require elbow grease. It's gonna require extra work, as I've been saying for like two years now. Um, nothing is just gonna magically happen for us. We have to put in the work, right? And if you do that, then you'll be successful. But what I would say is I kind of feel like something is coming easily to you. You know, he's carrying this banner, this baby on the horse, and it's kind of meant to look like a very heavy, big banner, but he's carrying it very easily. Like he's not struggling to carry that flag, banner, whatever. And I kind of feel that it's standing out to me. I never usually use that meaning, but it's standing out to me that some of you it's like what you're about to enter into, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but I think it's just gonna be easier than what you are used to. And, and it's almost like it's less of a burden. So especially for those of you that are getting a new job, starting a new business, it's gonna be like such an easy burden for you to carry. It's like not that big of a deal at all. The other thing that I'm getting here is that it's much more worth it. It's like, obviously, <laughs> you know, there is a, everything has its price, right? And obviously if you have a job that's difficult, but if you get paid a billion dollars a year to do it, makes it a little bit easier to do the job, right? So I kind of feel that for some of you as well, where you there could be an opportunity that exists for, for you to do your job that just makes it more worth it, you know, because you're, you'd be getting paid more money. Now you have the chariot. The chariot, of course, is a victory. Um, I always get these moving cards for you, Capricorn. So it wouldn't really surprise me if some of you were, you know, looking to move or travel. Uh, but I would also say that I feel like things are about to change. It's crazy to me that everyone gets the chariot, but it also makes perfect sense because I really believe that, you know, over the next decade, basically, we're going to be entering into a completely different world. Like I, like I say, mark my words, I promise you that over the next 10 years, you will, there will be things that you just <laughs> probably can't believe have happened that will have happened over the next 10 years. And again, I'm not even trying to be clickbaity here. Again, these are things that, you know, like new technologies, um, new ideas in the world, changes in the world, things like that. Probably things you never thought you would ha see happen. And again, I really feel a lot of this has to do with Pluto and Aquarius. But, um, you know, again, if we're smart and if we can take advantage of these new opportunities, then we'll be very successful. Uh, but I do feel that you are really taking control with that chariot. With the sun, or sorry, the star, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, Queen of Pentacles is your card here, Capricorn. So I feel that you are very resourceful at this time. I also feel you need to tap into your resources. I keep telling people this, that, you know, again, I, I think that the money situation, <laughs> not necessarily gonna improve anytime soon. So again, I, I think if you can start a business without money, really good idea. Um, I would also do, th I would like test things without money. Like I would say, like, are there ways that you can prove your business can work on a very small level? Like prove it to yourself. And you're gonna have to put your thinking cap on, but if you do, you will be very successful. Uh, with the sun, you have the five of wands. The Five of Wands is my card of, that I call Indiana Jones. To me, it's a card of like going on some sort of crazy adventure take to find some treasure. You know, it is a card of conflict and competition, but really it's a card of learning. You know, the people on this card, they are fighting with sticks. They're not using swords. So it's like they're learning how to fight. And it kind of makes sense to me because as I was saying earlier, it's almost like where you have been, like the, you know, whatever you've been doing is where you've been learning how to do whatever it is that you do. <laughs> and where you are going is like the actual real thing. So it's like, maybe you've had a career that you don't really like. It's like your next career or your next job is gonna be the, the thing where all, everything you learned in this one is gonna be super beneficial in this one. I hope that makes sense. And it's like, you've been training for a long time. And uh, same thing with love. It's like, maybe all your love relationships is like, I feel like you're going to see like how, if you didn't go through all the crap over here, it's like, you wouldn't have gotten up here, you know? And so I really see like a leveling up here. With the chariot, here you go. You have the Ace of Swords, a major victory coming in for you. I mean, I would say this whole entire reading is a big victory. So, you know, it looks really good to me here. Um, I, and again, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were, were moving. You have the tower up here. Again, everyone's had the tower, so I'm not too worried about the tower. You also have the star, which happens after the tower. And that kind of means, you know, that you could be healing uh, from a tower moment very quickly. But um, what I would say is it's like, how can you take a tower moment 
and how can you turn it into something that is like much more successful like not to toot my own horn here capricorn but it's like you know there are all these changes that are like severely affecting tarot and other things as well on youtube and it like gave me an idea i already have a team working on a new idea i'll be announcing it soon which hopefully will be able to take the tower moment and turn it into something much better so again the astrology really really rewards taking things and like temperance you don't have the temperance card here because i'm trying to prove a point so of course you don't but what i would say is like can you are there opportunities where maybe it's a tower moment, but you could turn it into something that benefits you, right? Um, you know, I don't know. Do it. Try it. See what happens. You have this lost card. Uh, this is Saturn and Pisces, by the way, and we have Saturn and Pisces. Um, so some of you could have experienced a loss in, during Saturn uh, or before Saturn and Pisces. And I would look at that. You know, I, I don't think we should dwell on our losses, right? Of course not. But I am getting here that there could be some good lessons that you could learn. And it's like, once you see them, I think that's when you're truly going to move on from the situation. Uh, next, you have this criticism card. Uh, I feel like you need to make sure that you're not criticizing your own ideas is what I'm getting. It's almost like that finger is pointing at yourself, you know? So I would be careful of criticizing yourself or being too hard on yourself, Capricorn. Uh, you have the this extremism card. I would be very careful of extremism for the next 10 years. We have, and you know, we're going to have Neptune uh, moving into Aries in uh, 2026. And I keep telling people, like, I want people to be super careful with Neptune and, Ca and uh, Aries because it's like extremism. <laughs> but it's worse than that because we could see like certain extreme ideas um, becoming like stronger. And, um, but we could also be looking for someone to save us, right? And the only person we can save is ourselves. So it doesn't say don't have beliefs, right? But what it does say is it says, believe your own beliefs. And that's what I feel like you need to do here is like, it's saying, follow yourself. I think something people need to realize about Pluto and Aquarius is like, yes, it's the collective, right? For the next 20 years it has a lot to do with the collective, but I really feel we need to follow ourselves, our own ideas. Like don't, don't even listen to what I say. I think that this is why I tell people all the time to experiment because I think you should just come to your own conclusions about, you know, different ideas, different beliefs. And again, I wouldn't follow, like make, make no one your guru, right? You are your own guru here. Uh, you have this egotism card, like, look at all this, you know? I, I'm wondering if you, some of you lost a person who's like this. They're like extreme, very highs, you know, very big highs, very big lows. And maybe they have an ego, so it's probably all ego-based. And again, I do not let this person back into your life. Yeah, because you, I feel like you're getting to a place of peace and harmony, you know? It's like, for some of you, this isn't going to make sense to all of you, but for some of you, I feel maybe you were dealing with a person who's super negative and now that you're out of it, I feel like they see your glow up or whatever. Clearly, this is, could be a glow up reading. Sun twice, the star twice, um, you know, 10 of cups twice, 10 of pentacles twice. Are you freaking kidding me? This is like a major, major improvement in your life. So be careful of these people. And I would also ignore the trolls, ignore the haters. That's definitely what these themes are saying to me. But other than that, I feel this is kind of like a clue for your success. So there you go. And again, as we have more global tower moments, you know, the haters are going to come out of the woodwork, obviously, because their lives, you know, people who aren't maybe, you know, as awake or whatever, their lives could start sucking. So, you know, it is your job to star again, not worry about it and just be an inspiration, be there for, you know, be there, be an example for the people who actually are willing to listen. Right. But uh, there you go. Thank you for being here. Capricorn looks pretty good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.